Let's take a look at some common conversions and how to convert fractions to decimals to percentages and percentages to decimals to fractions. These are some of the values you need to be really, really familiar with. Now, I'm sure you all know that a half is 50%, but do you definitely know that a half is 0 0.5? If you saw the number 3.5, do you know that that 0.5 means a half? So make sure you're really, really familiar with these. And do you know, for example, that 0 0.5 is 50% and the 50% as a decimal is 0 0.5? You need to learn as well that a quarter is 25% or 0 0.25 as a decimal. If you know one quarter, then three quarters should be pretty easy because it's just three times this amount. So three times 25 is 75. Three times 0 0.25 gives you the 0 0.75. One fifth is 20% or 0 0.2. One tenth is 10%, 0 0.1. One twentieth, you can probably get away with not knowing one twentieth perhaps, but that is 0 0.05, otherwise known as 5%. And um, one whole, one over one, as a decimal is just the number one, which is 100%. So make sure you're really, really familiar with with these fractions to decimals to percentages and make sure you can chop and change fraction to decimal, fraction to percentage, decimal to percentage, percentage to fraction, percentage to decimal. Maybe worth doing some flashcards just to make sure that these numbers are completely embedded. And of course with 1 tenth, 0 0.1, remember that 2 tenths is 0 0.2, 3 tenths is 0 0.3. 1 fifth, 0 0.2, 2 fifths, 0 0.4. Um, they're handy things to be thinking about as well. Now to go from a fraction to a decimal and decimal to percentage, this is what we need to do. Fraction to decimal, all you need to do is top divided by bottom. So if you've got the fraction three quarters, to convert that to a decimal is three divided by four. And three divided by four will give you the 0 0.75. Two fifths, two divided by five on the calculator, or perhaps you've remembered that one fifth is 0 0.2, so 2 fifths is 0 0.4. But remember 2 divided by 5, 0 0.4. 17 twentieths, um, this is not a value that comes to mind for me, so 17 divided by 20 is the calculation that comes to 0 0.85. 5 eighths, 5 divided by 8 is 0 0.625. So go from a decimal to a percentage, all we do is multiply the decimal by 100. So 0 0.75 times 100, 75%. 0 0.4 times 100, 40%. 0 0.85 times 100, 85%. 0 0.625, 62.5%. So fraction to decimal, top divided by bottom, decimal percentage, decimal to percentage multiplied by 100. So therefore, if you're going from fraction to percentage, you need to top divided by bottom times by 100. You don't really need to pause to look at the decimal value. If you're doing two fifths, turning it into a percentage, just do two divided by five times by 100, takes you straight to the 40. You don't need to do 2.2 divided by five equals, have a little look at the 0.4, then multiply that by 100 to take you to the 40. You're not really interested in the 0 0.4, so just do top divided by bottom times by 100. Now, percentage to decimal, that's uh, quite straightforward. You're just dividing by 100. So 97%, 0 0.97, 23%, 0.23, 40%, 0.40, otherwise known as 0 0.4, 50%, 0 0.50, otherwise known as 0 0.5, 5%, be careful with a single digit percentage amount, that is 0 0.05, not 0 0.5, because 0 0.5, that's our multi, uh, that's the, uh, that's 50%. Now to go from a decimal to a fraction, uh, well it all depends on how many decimal places we have. If we have two decimal places, we are talking about hundredths. So that as a fraction, 97 hundredths. 23%, 0 0.23, 23 hundredths, 0 0.40, or, which is 0 0.4. When we've only got one decimal place, we're dealing in tenths. So that is four tenths. 0 0.5, 5 tenths. When, uh, here we've, again, we're back to two decimal places again, so that is 5 hundredths. Now, some of these fractions can be simplified. 
97 is a prime number, so we can't simplify that. 23 is a prime number, can't simplify that. But 4 tenths, that can be simplified to 2 fifths. 5 tenths, that can be simplified to 1 half. And 5 over 100, that can be simplified to 1 over 20. So percentage to decimal, divide by 100. Decimal to fraction, just turn it into tenths or one hundredths. If you want to convert a percentage directly into a fraction, then remember a percent or a percentage, percent means out of 100, a percentage is a fraction that is out of 100 anyway. So 97% is 97 over 100, 23%, 23 over 100, 40%, 40 over 100, 50 over 100, and then five over 100. And now all you need to do is just simplify any that can be simplified. 97 hundredths can't be simplified. 23 hundredths can't be simplified. 40 hundredths, we can chop down to four tenths and then to two fifths. 50 out of 100 is the same as five out of 10, which is the same as one out of two, so half. And five out of 100, that is the same as one out of 20. So to go from a percentage to a fraction, you don't need to go to the decimal. You can just go directly to a fraction because remember a percentage is a fraction, as I've just said, a percentage is the fraction out of 100. So write it out of 100 and simplify if it can be simplified.